What's going on YouTube? It's your guy Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, the Fashion and Fragrance Guy. If you want to look good and smell great, you found the right channel. I'm the guy, man. I can lead you there, okay? So if you're into fashion and fragrance, make sure you hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell icon as well, so when I upload a new video, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. Guys, on today's video, I'm going to be jumping into talking about five new fragrances from the brand of Viva More Parfums. Now, Viva More Parfums is the sister company, if you want to call it that, to Navitus Parfums, and they have dropped five new fragrances, and I'm going to have the pleasure of giving you guys my first impressions on five, on all five of those fragrances right here, today, right now. I'm super excited about this because I'm just looking at some of the names of these fragrances and some of the notes, and a lot of them seem to be right up my alley. So I'm going to run the intro, and when we come back, we're going to jump into it, man. So if you want to see what I have to say about these five new fragrances, look, guys, listen, one is called Sweet Sin, so we're going to get into it. So if you want to hear my thoughts, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump into the video. Two quick orders of business. Number one, make sure if you want to shop on any of these fragrances, make sure you use my discount code. I'll make sure I link it down below. I think you get 10 to 15% off of anything that you may want to purchase, whether it be from Navi Two's Parfums or from Viva More Parfums. Also, there's going to be a giveaway associated with this video. If you get somebody that comments on the video that says you need to send them a telegram is not me. I'm telling you now. Don't message me about that. I'm telling you now it's not me. All right? It doesn't come from a Darian, a bowtie fragrance guy with a check mark beside the name indicating that it's my authentic account. Uh, uh, authentic account is not me. So let's just address that. But I'm going to be giving away this discovery set. All right? And it has all five of the fragrances that I'm going to talk about today included in this discovery sets and you know guys know if you if you don't i will tell you Navitus parfums or even more parfums are not slack when it comes to their travel itemizers they're pressurized i think they were the first in the game to do that so it is a nice set that you're going to get this is it right here again it has all five of the fragrances that i'm going to talk about today in this set so what i want you to do to win the giveaway is just make sure that you comment down below which fragrance you like the most or which fragrance you would like to try the most. And I'm going to give it one week. At the end of that week, I will choose a winner. I will randomly, randomly select a winner to win the discovery set. All right. There are five, um, seven, um, 0 0.07 fluid ounce um, itemizers in here. All right. No, it says five, two mil. Yeah, two ml, two ml per uh, sample. All right. So that's what's in here. So we're going to have one lucky winner to win this. All right. So let's start, guys, with um, the presentation on these are really nice. This is what the boxes look like for Viva More Parfums. This one is called Caramel Pop. Another one I'm very interested in getting my nose on here. But these are what the boxes look like. Really nice. It has the word Viva More going uh, kind of embossed on the entire box. There's some insignia there on the um, top of the box, ingredients on the bottom, name of the fragrance. These are all extract to parfums, and they are all 100 ml at 3.4 uh, fluid ounces. All right. So once you take it out of the box, this is really, really impressive. All right. This is kind of a leathery uh, feeling box right here that you're going to have uh, that the fragrance is actually going to rest in. Now you open it at the bottom here. This flap opens up. All right, actually opens on the side there. Open it this way. Inside will rest a card, as only novices has been known to do. And it tells you all the notes. Now, I will tell you now, this one is done by one of my favorite perfumers of all time, Miss Sedoni Lancisor. Some did some of my favorite fragrances from By Killian, and she is actually the perfumer on this particular fragrance. 
I will go ahead and read you guys the notes. This has bergamot. There's a caramelized popcorn accord. Very interesting. Uh, roasted chestnuts, caramel, orchid, and then you have vanilla, bourbon, a uh, vanilla bourbon absolute, uh, benzoin, and cedar wood. So already, I'm expecting this to be my kind of fragrance. This is what the bottle looks like. Caramel pop. So we're probably starting with the one that I may like the most. Let's give it a spray. See what we get. Nice mist there. You guys see that? I'm let you see it. If you didn't. Nice. <laughs> it smells like caramelized popcorn. I know I'm not a huge fan and eating sweet popcorn. I love sweet popcorn. I love popcorn, but I don't really like to mix sweet and salty. Um, it's just as far as my palate for eating, but that's exactly what this smells like. This is really nice. This is very unique, very creative. All right, it's definitely a gourmand, but it kind of has that saltiness in there. All right, so again, you kind of get that saltiness that you get from popcorn, but then you have the sweetness of caramel, and that's really what you smell uh, with this fragrance. There's a little bit of a creaminess in the background of it, but this is like, if you love gourmands, I think you're gonna love this, all right? So imagine Crunch and Munch. That's exactly what this <laughs> smells like. Well, I take that back, because I do like Crunch and Munch. I think it's just that sweet kettle corn is what I don't like, so let's correct that. But I do love Crunch and Munch. That's what this smells like, Crunch and Munch. This is nice, man. If you want to go out like on a date or just going out, uh, to me, it's not like an everyday wear because it's such almost like a novelty thing. But going out on a date or just going and hanging out wearing a scent like this, you're going to get a lot of attention. It smells really, really nice, man. Wow. I'm not sure how they got that salty popcorn kind of accord. Novelties has been known for doing that when they did my fragrance, Divine Aphrodisiac. We came up with that uh, peanut butter accord. So I guess there's ways that it can be done. But this is nice, man. If you like gourmands, yeah, I like that. Ooh, that's really creative. Sedoni Lancisor. Let's go, baby. That one is called Caramel Pop. Um, so the next one that we have here, this one is called Choco Exclusive. A Choco Exclusive. I'm not sure. Um, but let's go ahead and get it out of this first box, and then we'll get... I've already showed you guys the presentation of how these work. They're all the same. They have a flap on the side here, almost like a magnetic flap, and you just open that up. So let's pull out the fragrance. Here we are. Choco exclusive, Choco exclusive. All right, so the bottle's chocolate, so I'm, think, I'm thinking that's kind of short for chocolate, all right? This one also done by Sedoni Lancer So This is a uh, Sicilian blood orange, Calabrian bergamot, uh, dark chocolate, African coffee. Guys, these are gourmands. These are my kind of fragrances. A pancakes accord. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maple syrup and Madagascan vanilla. Now, the only fragrance I've smelled before that has like a pancake kind of accord to it has been New Harlem from Bond number nine. You know, shout out to Kevin Sanders. He called that sexy pancakes. That's exactly what it smells like, maple syrup and pancakes. So what do we have with this one? This has chocolate in it though, so that may kind of offset it just smelling like pancakes and syrup, but let's see. And these, I let you see these itemizers over and over again, they're nice. Look at that. I just smell it, I smell chocolate. Vanilla, I smell like a van chocolatey vanilla kind of scent profile. And there it is, pancakes. <laughs> now, I'll tell you guys, that is my favorite food for breakfast, pancake. Right? If I could choose anything on a given morning for breakfast, it would be pancakes and bacon. Like, those are my two favorite things. Very creative fragrance, man. Again, you get the chocolate there as well, but then you kind of have this, this pancake maple syrup thing going on in the background. So for you guys that love gourmands and you're looking for a unique gourmand fragrance, this is one. Uh, that's one of the things I like about 
uh, this brand, they do things that are very creative. Those accords that they create, those very unique accords, that pancake accord they created in here. Yeah, I've never smelled that before. Because especially with that chocolate, it's so different from what New Harlem smelled like. Wow, this is dope, man. I smell, this smells like pancake syrup and chocolate. <laughs> That's what this smells like. Shout out to Viva More Parfum, man. Doing some very nice creative fragrances. Okay, so there we go. That is Choco Exclusive or Choco Exclusive. Um, what do you have next here? This is called Dubai Rivetti. All right. Here's the box for this one. It comes in a white box. Again, I've already showed you guys the, um, the other box that this comes in. So I'm just going to take this one out and let's get to the fragrance. So this one was done by Bertrand Duchefour and Berenguer Pugarelli. Um, that's how I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but what do we have here? This is going to be a fresh one, guys. Um, usually the case you have a clear what bottle or white bottle is probably going to be a fresher fragrance. This is Spanish Clementine, lychee, black currant, uh, ginger, vanilla cream, cedarwood, vetiver, amber, and white musk. All right. So I'm expecting a nice fresh fragrance, but at the same time, it's going to be sweet because you got that lychee in there. You got vanilla cream. Uh, so you have some more sweet notes in here this is nice oh this is probably my favorite so far honestly i love that freshness that clementine provides to a fragrance it's citrusy but it's really fresh then of course you get a sweetness from lychee a little bit of a clean white musk with that vanilla uh whipped cream kind of vibe here really nice fresh and clean i like this one going to be a nice one for the spring and summer that's Dubai Rivetti so that's a nice fragrance for the summertime all right we got two more here guys uh, this one is called Sweet Sin I mentioned that one in the opening very interested to see what this one is all about um, I don't know what notes are in it but we're about to find out Sweet Sin all right, this one was done by Bertrand Duchefort as well and Pierre Flores. Dried apricot and peach. Rum, tonka bean, benzoin, vanilla, patchouli, musk. Sounds good to me. So here we go. Shout out to Dak Prescott. Here we go. All right, let's see. Apricot and peach, perfect pairing. Perfect. This is good. This is really good. Oh, I'm starting to pick up that slight booziness as it continues to kind of, you know, seep into this um, test strip. Hmm, that's a sweetness, the tonka bean sweetness on the dry down. This is really nice. Now, this is my favorite one so far. Sweet Sin. This is nice, guys. Sweet Sin. I don't want to make this too long. Let's get to the last one. Um, the last one is called Vanilla Vibe. <laughs> Vanilla Vice, Vice, baby. Doom. Vanilla Vice, Vice. <laughs> All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. For those of you don't know what, that don't know what I'm singing, uh, Go check it out. You, you, somebody else will tell you. But this is called Vanilla Vice. <laughs> vanilla Vice, baby, is the name of this fragrance right here. And uh, this one was done by Pierre Flores and Bertrand Duchefort as well. Here's the bottle. This is a purple bottle. This one features notes of cognac, almond, heliotrope, suede, incense, tonka bean, vanilla, and ambergris. 
I am sure I am going to like this one before I even spray it. Okay, Viva More Performs. You, know, you guys aren't playing games, man. Immediately you get a boozy cognac. All right, but you get then that combined with that almond and heliotrope. Those things kind of go hand in hand together. I've seen those used before. Uh, think about Pegasus Exclusive or Pegasus from um, Parfums de Marley. That's where you've seen that almond and heliotrope combination before. So you get that kind of powderiness and then you get the almond and you get the cognac in the opening. This is really, really nice. Obviously, there's a nice presence of vanilla here as well. This is nice, man. Listen, guys, all five fragrances. I don't think anybody is going to be off put by any of these fragrances. Again, they're all available in this travel gift set right here. That one lucky winner is going to win. So again, I want to make sure I link my, I put my link here in the video. All right. Make sure you use that link. Make sure you comment on this video with which fragrance sounds the most enticing to you. Which fragrance sounds like the one that you would like the most. All right. So by doing that down below and leaving that comment, you're going to enter in a chance to win this. All right. In a week's time, I will select a winner. And I will get in contact with you about your shipping where I need to send that fragrance. Um, that'll go out to one lucky winner. So again, make sure you comment down below which fragrance sounds like uh, the one you're most interested in trying. Um, but that's all the time I have for you guys today. All five of them smell really good. Um, as always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget, guys, take out a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Voltaire Fragrance Guy. I love to look good and, of course, love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.